Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you? Good morning, teacher. Good How morning, teacher. How are you? I'm fine very well, thank you. How about you? Do you want to see my face? I'm free home to read home. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Me. It's Andrati. How are you guys? How are you? Mm. Okay, not okay. Did you eat? Oh, my father, you're eating your breakfast. What's your breakfast? McDonald's chicken. Ah, chicken from McDonald's? Yes, sir. Oh, you should share. Oh, who's the one that eating mama? Turn on your cameras, turn on your cameras. Okay. Turn on your cameras, guys. Don't be shy to show me your face. Don't be shy. So we have new topic now. Our topic now is secret. Part of plan. No, not part of plans now. So we will start the chapter two of our lesson. Turn on your cameras. Ten students. Okay, wait for the others. Okay, wait a minute. I will just. Put on alcohol. Đi cho. Đi con. Đi con, đi con. ไปกันไปกันไปกันเอ้ยเดี๋ยวเราไปบอกเคนโดก่อนว่าเรียนแล้วพิกอังกฤษเคนโดเคนโดเคนโดเคนโดเคนโดอินซูม Kendo is in the zoo. Anda. Kendo is at not in zoo. Anda. Ah, my friend. Ita. iPhone. Anda is come to your friends in class. Learning teacher. Ah, okay. So Anda's friend will come here to learn also. Yes. Hmm. Turn on your cameras, please, everyone. Wait a minute. Hello, teacher. Who's that? Do I look handsome now? Handsome, handsome. Faifa, what's that? Turn on your cameras. Nanta, what? What's your question? Why are you raising your hands? Patarakan. What's that smiley face? 
Turn on your cameras. Show me your faces. No, Paifa, what's that, Paifa? Oh, I love my kid. Can you see me? No. You can yes, see me. Yeah. Can you see me? Good or yeah, not good? Yes. Yeah. Good? No. Not good? Can you see me? Clear or not clear? Yeah. Clear. Not clear. Not clear. Not clear. I will not use the background. Okay. So we will let's start now. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Do you like it? Yes, yes. yes. Do you like these animals? Yes. 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 Okay. So, today's topic is... Animals. Wait, why are you raising your hand? Nanta what? Patida? What's your question? Why are you raising your hand? Why are you raising your hand? Do you have questions? If you don't have questions, don't raise hand, okay? So that we can discuss clearly, okay? So first, open your book on page, 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 page 18. Page 18 of your book. Page 18, 18, 18, class book. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Teacher, I open now. Okay. So, what's the topic? The topic is the classification. Hi. Did you read the, the rules? The rules in Zoom class, you have to turn off your microphones if you are not being asked or being questioned by the teacher. So everyone, turn off your microphone. Turn off your microphone, please. Turn off. Everyone, I can see some students who are still, uh, the microphones is on. Hmm. Okay, so classification of living things. So there are many kinds of living things. There are millions of species of living things on earth. So what are the living things? These are the people, the animals, and the plants. Okay? Always remember, people, animals, plants. Plants and trees, okay? These are the classifications or species of living things. And we have millions of living things. Understand? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So, the first one are the vertebrates. So, we have vertebrates and invertebrates. 
But we will tackle only about the vertebrates. Okay? Everybody say vertebrates. Vertebrates. Okay. Vertebrates, these are the animals with back bones. Back bones. If you look at the picture, the snake has the backbone, right? The frog has the backbone. What is this? What's this? At the lower, lower picture. What's this? A fish? A fish. How about this one? A bird. A bird. How about this one? Human. Human. This one? So these are the animals or Tananyada, what's your question? Tananyada, what's that? She say what page she shared. Page. 18, 18. Tanya Pat, what's your question? No. Tanya Pat, what's this? Ah, okay. If you have question, you can raise your hand if you have questions. Okay, tell me, ask me. Understand? So, what are the animals or what are the things that has the backbones are the animals that has backbones. We have the mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Understand? Yes. Okay. So these are the things. So we have the mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Okay, so that has five. So let's start first watching this. Wait a minute, I will share the sound. Okay, how was the video? Did you understand it? Yes. Do you want to play it again? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So. I will play it one more time, and then after that, we will discuss about the five classification of vertebrates. Tananyada, what's your question? Tananyada? 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 Do you have questions? Tananyada? Huh? I can't understand. Speak English. Okay, so uh, I will play it again, huh? Okay, did you understand it? Yes. Okay, so yes. we will go to the topic. So warm-blooded animals, these are the uh, mammals and birds only. Mammals and birds are warm-blooded animals. They can maintain their own body temperatures even in cooler surroundings. So if it is very cold, you can turn off your microphone, okay? So when, if it is very cold, 
they can maintain or they can keep the temperature hot. Understand? So mammals, they have the fur. If you see fur like the, the hair. Okay? And then the birds, they have the feathers. So warm-blooded animals, they are able to regulate their body temperature. If it's very hot, they can stay. If it's very hot, it's, if it's very long, they can still stay. Okay, they can adjust. They can like hot, getting hot or getting cold. Understand? There is a little effect of environmental temperature on the body temperature. They live in all places, including the ones with highly unfavorable environmental temperature. The two activities, hibernation and estivation, are rare. These animals or these animals are more active. So warm-blooded animals are more active. What do we mean by active? Like we can go like uh, we're doing many activities like the humans or people. People do activities also like studying, working, playing, many things, right? Same like the dogs. Dogs, what are they doing? They run, they walk, okay? They travel. So next is the cold-blooded animals. If you say cold-blooded animals, they have the body te temperatures that change with the temperature of the environment. Okay? So if it's cold-blooded, they, uh, they can change also, but they still want in the cold places. So example of this one, the cold-blooded animals. So this cold-blooded animals, like alligator, frog, crocodile, lizard, snake, fish. They like to stay in cold places. Okay? If it's hot, they don't go out. Especially the alligator. The alligators and crocodiles, when it's hot, they stay underwater. But alligators, no. Next, okay? So the difference between Ah, Tananya Duck can turn on the microphone. That's why she didn't answer you. Ah, okay, okay. So this is the difference between the cold-blooded and warm-blooded animals. Listen. He's a cold-hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Uh -oh. Uh oh, he's, he's been, been lying on a rock trying to get warmth out of his environment. Yeah. Hey there, meat bags. Trace here for D News to talk about why you're all so hot. But really, you're hot. It's because of thermoregulation. Science divides thermoregulation into endothermic or ectothermic, homeothermic or poikilothermic. Endo and ectothermic describe an animal that either makes its own heat or gets it from its environment. Homeo and poikilothermic describe whether the temperature is constant. A cute little Siamese cat, for example, is an endotherm and a homeotherm. It makes its own heat and it maintains a constant body temperature. Most mammals and birds are endothermic homeotherms, what elementary school would call warm-blooded. Fish, amphibians, reptiles, and most invertebrates are ectothermic poikilotherms. They get heat from the environment and let their body temperature fluctuate, what the youths would then call cold-blooded. But that's only part of the picture. They make their own heat, but don't always maintain it. Some fish maintain a constant temperature and create heat by swimming from colder to warmer water, but they can't generate it themselves. Leatherback turtles and laminid sharks do this too. All I'm saying is, it's a wider world than the black and white of cold versus warm blood. But that's not all. Dinosaurs used to be thought of as cold-blooded terror lizards that would obviously make amazing park attractions, so don't worry, because nothing could go wrong. 
But a study in science found that dinosaurs were likely mesotherms. They use a combination of internal processes and environmental factors to adjust their overall body temperature. Plus, yeah. animals that hibernate like chipmunks and some bats are heterothermic. Yeah, it gets confusing. The reason we simplify it to warm and cold-blooded is because temperature, which is mainly circulated by the blood, affects things like muscle function and brain size. Colder muscles react slower, yeah. meaning that ectothermic animals have to behave sluggishly when the environment is cooler. They don't have a choice, even if a predator is around. According to Spring and Holly's introduction to zoology, with an 18 degree Fahrenheit change in temperature, muscles contract three times faster, pulling three times the power. Knowing this, you can understand why yellowfin tuna evolved to be poikilotherms. Warmer muscles react better, allowing them to keep their bodies at a slightly higher temperature than the surrounding water. Thus, they maximize their power and can catch prey. Mammals and birds range in temperature from 97 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and that has a cost. We have to eat to live and regulate our metabolism. Pandas spend 10 to 16 hours each day just eating. And the British Medical Journal recorded hunger strikers who lasted 40 days without food, but that's child's play. Pythons can go a year between meals because they're cold-blooded. So why aren't we just slightly regulating our temperatures, like the tuna? It seems like a big waste to burn all this energy and stay hot all the time, right? All that heat keeps our muscles ready for action. Endothermic animals can almost always outrun ectothermic animals, assuming, of course, they survive the initial strike because ectothermic animals are better at that initial attack. Think like a snake or a really fast fish. Insects with cold muscles can't fly. The sphinx moth vibrates its muscles before takeoff so it gets them all warm. Plus, cold animals may miss opportunities to use their muscles to get all up on and mate. Warm-blooded animals, they can mate anytime, which, you know, that's fun. Plus, all that energy and heat allows for the evolution of more complex brain structures, which allowed me to learn to talk to you right now. That being said, it's hot, and it's real hot, and sometimes it's just too hot or too cold. So animals that evolved to be homeothermic, maintaining body temperature, also had to evolve fur or blubber to stay warm and sweat glands or panting to cool off. But that's a whole other video. If you wanna know why we sweat and how awesome we humans are at it, check out this video. Much of it's reabsorbed or evaporates before you even notice. The average person has 2.6 million sweat glands in their skin, and working at maximum overdrive, a human can produce two or three liters of perspiration every hour. Do you have a science question that you want us to answer? YouTube gave us a comment section for a reason, so y'all could troll, but you could also use them to maybe ask a science question. You know, try that one. And please subscribe. Okay. So, Yes. Again? So I go to being water. Yes. Oh, okay, no problem. Go. Make it fast, make it fast. Cool. Okay, so we have here the mammals. Okay, if you see mammals, they have an outer layer of hair or fur which keep them which keeps them warm. Okay, so just like the koalas, the kangaroos, and the wolves. So they have fur. So these are the animals that have fur, like people, humans. Humans, we have tiny hair. Okay, so we have tiny hair. Some animals also, they have hair, but they call it fur. So mammals produce milk for their young. So they can produce milk so that the baby animals can drink milk through the breast, okay? But some mammals like platypus and uh, echidna are the only mammals that lay eggs. So they have eggs like this. They have eggs. While the other mammals, they don't lay eggs. Understand? Understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Can, you talk, can you translate it to them? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Organic. Yes. Okay. So again, huh? All animals. When they have baby, 
when they have baby, they don't have eggs. Not in the egg like this. But platypus and echidna have the eggs. Okay? They have the eggs. Understand? Yes. Uh, who raised yes. the hand? Yes. Wait, who raised the hand? What's his name? What's your name? Again, huh? next time, when you put or when you watch the video, when you are in the Zoom, please make your name into English. Tisha, man, man. Okay? Make your name in English. Because when I ask questions, I cannot call you because you are not using English name. Okay, just like ploy, ploy. Make your name the complete name. Always remember that. Do you understand? Yes. Next time, next time. Next time, make your name. What? Okay, next. So these are the other example of mammals. So some mammals are marine animals, so such as dolphins, whales, and seals. Not all mammals are in are on the land. Some can live underwater, just like dolphins, whales, and seals. Okay? So next is the birds, or are the birds. They are covered in feathers. They have feathers which keep them warm and help them fly. It's a bird. They produce or reproduce eggs with hard shells. Okay, so they have eggs. Mammals don't have eggs, right? But birds, they lay eggs or they reproduce eggs. And then they have feathers, not fur. Feathers to help them fly. But not all. Not all birds can fly. Some birds, such as penguins, cannot fly, but they can swim well. They can swim. Understand? And ostriches cannot fly too, but they can run up to 70 kilometers per hour. Understand? Okay, what's your question? What's your name? Mangkon, teacher. Mangkon, what's your question? You raised your hand twice already. Mangkon? Mangkon? If you don't have any questions, you can use your hand. The teacher will be able to help you. Okay, so ostriches cannot fly, but they can run very fast. Okay, they can run the same like the cheetah. You know cheetah, right? Yes. Okay, so next, the fish. Don't write on the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So fish are covered in scales. They use the gills to breathe. You know the gills, right? The side of their head. They use it to breathe. They swim with their fins and tail. They lay eggs too. They have eggs, but not hard eggs. It's like jelly eggs. Jelly covered by jelly. Okay, so when you touch the egg of the fish, it's easily to, what? To break. Next are the reptiles. So these are the reptiles, okay? 
So they are covered with dry scales. Most lay eggs which have hard shells. So the eggs of these reptiles, they are very hard. So when you touch it, it's hard. Not easily broken. Okay? Cannot break it easily, but you can break it. They have the skin or dry, dry skin. But they like to go to the water. Okay. Some of the reptiles like chameleon and turtles. On hot days, reptiles hide in the shadow, to, uh, shade to keep their bodies cool. Okay, just like turtles, when they feel very hot, they go underwater or they go underwater. While the chameleon, they go to the shaded part of the tree. They don't go under the sun. Amphibians. So amphibians can live both on land and in water. They can go underwater. They can go on top of the land. They have smooth skin and do not have scale. So when you touch the body of this, the frog and the salamander, it's so smooth. And it has like jelly thing on their skin. So when you touch them, it's... Uh, how do you say that? You cannot hold them properly. Okay? So when you touch them, it will slide only. Because they have like jelly thing on the skin. Now, okay, so group the animals in the box. So we have to group them. So first, the snake. Where is the snake? Mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, or amphibians? Anyone? This is in your book, class book, page 22. Page 22. Understand? 22. Yes, if so. Yes, if so. 22. So it is a Fabian. Snake is an? Fabian. Amphibian. Are you sure? Yes. Who said that? So, Pase, Kemtid? Yeah. Kemtid, are you sure snake is an amphibian? Yes. No, it's not. You can check your answers. Isha Fab is an amphibian. Again? Ma. Frog. Now, let's go first here. Snake, snake. Fog. Snake first, snake. Snake is what? Deeply tap. Rep reptile. So let's put snake here. <coughs> Next. Salamander. Salamander is? Amphibian. Amphibian. Okay. Salamander. Understand? Next. Crocodile. Amphibian. Amphibian. Hmm? Amphibian. Amphibian. Do you want to go back to know what, what is amphibian? I gave you already the amphibian. Teacher, reptile, crocodile. Crocodile is a reptile. Eat feet. Next, sparrow. What is a sparrow? Sopita, what's your question, Sopita? Sopita? Can you read what Sopita said? Can you help me? What page? Sure, Sopita oh. said. 
I said already, page 22. Yes, it's so. 23, yeah, 23, 23. 22, 23. Okay. Uh, Sparrow, what is Sparrow? I don't know. You don't know Sparrow? Don't know. Sparrow? I don't okay. know what is Sparrow. Oh. Okay, you don't know, right? So teacher John will help you to know that. Sparrow has beak. It has the beak and it can fly. What is that? Birds. Bird. 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 Okay. Bird. Okay. Because it has feather. Asti. Good. Asti. Asti. Sparrow. Okay, next. Eagle. Eagle. Where is eagle? Bird. 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 Eagle is bird, bird also. Is... Okay. Shark is feet. Shark is feet. Feet. Fish. Fish. Feet. Shark is feet. 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 I can feet. Feet. No feet. You say it fish. Fish. You say it fish. Fish. Fish, fish not fit, huh? Okay, not fit. Uh, next. Oh, fish. Shark. Sorry. Next. Fish tuna. Tuna. Fish. 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 Okay. Not fit, okay? Fit. Ostrich. Ham bird, bird. Okay, bird. Uh, ostrich. Next, whale. Whale. Huh? Bird. Whale, whale, whale. Camel. Whale. Fish. Yeah. Fish. Hmm? Fish? You did not listen if you say it fish. So what do you have to say? Mammals. Okay. Mammals. Mammals. Dolphin mammal. Okay, we are dolphin. Mammal. Mammals, dolphin. okay. Frog is amphibian. Frog. Frog is? Amphibian. Amphibian. Very good. Human is? Human is? Mammals. 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 This one, human, okay? Spider. Sardine. Sardine. Sardine or sardine? Fish. Fish. Very good. Okay, so write all the answers now in Finish. your book. Finish. 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 Oh, let's wait for the others. Let's Finish. wait for Finish. the others. If you are finished, be quiet and wait Finish. for the others. Finish. Yes. Finish. Not finish. Finish. If you are finished, zip your mouth. Finish. Finish, turn off your microphones. Finish. 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 Is everyone finished? Yeah. I see some students who are not answering. Wapat, you are not answering your book.
Wapat is not answering his book or the others. Wapat, are you finished answering your book? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Very good, very good, Wapat. Finish, sir. Everyone finish? Finish. Finish. Okay, not finish. Not finish, not finish. Raise your hand, not finish. No more? Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, now here. I have scales, gills. Uh, read the description of each animal, then identify the group of vertebrates that it belongs to. This one is in your workbook. 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 Workbook page 10. Workbook page 10. Workbook page 10. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have scales, gills, and fins. I can live only in water. I can live only fish. in water. What is that? Fish. It's fish. Okay, fish. that is a uh, fish. Fish. Is it fish? Fish. Yes, fish. I am number two. I am covered with scales. I lay eggs with hard shells. Can queen bird can my fish reptiles birds mammals amphibians five only fish mammals reptiles birds amphibians bird Oy, bird bird has scales does bird ne Mm, again, listen, huh? You have to choose only. I will write. The, okay. I will write. So, fish. Birds. Mammals. Amphibians. Birds. Man, it's bird. Man, it's oh. bird. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bird. Wait a minute. Okay. So you have to choose here only. Choose here only. Okay. So fish, birds, mammals, amphibians. Bird. Right, it's a bird. Bird. Again. My name is Pin. Bird, bird. Listen, listen, bird. listen, 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 everyone, listen, everyone. I am covered with scales, scale, scale. Okay, birds are covered with feathers. Birds are covered with feathers. Okay, so which animal is covered with scales? Scales like fish, and it's dry, dry, dry. Crocodile. Yeah, like crocodiles. What are the crocodiles? Reptiles. Reptiles. Next, I am covered with feathers. I have wings. Bird. Birds. Okay. Number four. I am covered with fur or like hair. I gave I give birth to my young. Who's writing on the screen? Don't write on the screen, please. Mama. Mama. 
And lastly, I can breathe through my moist skin. I can live both on land and in water. Amphibian. The amphibian. Amphibian. Understand? Yes. Okay. Are you finished? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. If you are not finished, <laughs> if you are not finished, you can watch this video in YouTube. Okay. On YouTube. What are the What's your question? I'm not finished. Okay, faster. Isha, I finished na. Very good, Wapat. Dako along ko. Finished. Okay. Okay, if you are finished, very good. If you are not finished, faster. Good night, Ma'am. Wapat, are you finished? Finished. Okay, so I will erase this. And thanks for listening. Okay. Thank you for listening. And turn on your cameras. We will have to take picture. Turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Turn on. Show me your big smile. Big smile. Big smile. Smile, smile. Okay, right, turn on your cameras. Smile. One, two. Okay. I didn't allow. Goodbye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.